good morning. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to uh, give you any information as to where this is. Um, you can have to do the same as me, do a bit of research. Um, like I say, I may not even find it myself yet because I know it does say that it is quite hidden away. But um, hopefully, hopefully we can we can at least get in the right location. Okay, I think uh, when I get to this location, it's uh, probably only gonna be a one or two shot um, location. So it'll be a bit to talk through, but the chances are this is probably gonna be a fairly short video. Uh, but anyway, it's just nice to check out these locations that I've seen pictures of. And because I'm finally up into the area, I can, uh, I can take a look. You take the time just to say the lakes my first time here but I'm just absolutely stunned um, I thought our area in the West Country was absolutely was stunning but there's no comparison this is absolutely absolutely amazing area um, I've had a contrast of conditions this week from mist rain nice light um, which I think is character to the area really but uh, I've managed to uh, manage to get some nice shots uh, we've got another day here again tomorrow leading us into new year and then we're heading back um, so but yeah well impressed I will be coming back for sure Okay, so here we are. Um, good flow of water coming down through as well. Um, just gonna take a couple of shots. Uh, to be honest, I think the area really closed off. There's a couple of signs. But anyway, because I'm here, I've been a bit naughty and snuck my way in. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna take a couple of shots quickly whilst I'm here and then, then get out. Okay, so. So my first composition, typically got the water wheel up there in the top, top right hand third with this flow of water coming down through. Shooting at F11, two seconds, uh, got a polarizer filter on, but that's all it's quite dull, so no need for any other filters. Okay, so I've just repositioned slightly. Uh, a bit more water flow here, up a bit higher. Uh, getting a bit wet, to be honest. Um, I'm underexposing by about two and a half stops so that I don't blow out these highlights in this water. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a few shots and then I'll put them up for you to have a look at.
Okay, so that is a classic location ticked off my bucket list. So, um, yeah, pleased I came. I'd say uh, a bit naughty jumping over the fence, um, but after traveling all this way, I really didn't want to miss an opportunity I would have been I would have been annoyed with myself to come away with nothing but I did no damage I was very careful and very respective of the countryside so uh, no harm done okay going back to the early part of today um, when I went to the boathouse at Oldswater. Uh, couldn't have asked for better, really. Had some nice side light. Timed it just right. Um, looking up through the Oldswater Lake. Some nice dark clouds and a bit of definition. Looking up through towards the uh, towards the mountains in the background. Um, forgive me. Lack of local knowledge. I don't know what they're called, but. Uh, but yeah, I was uh, very fortunate with that location. So uh, I'll put a few of them up as part of this video. Um, I was a bit annoyed with myself that I didn't do a bit of a vlog there, but it was sort of parked on the side of the road and a bit of a, a, bit of a quick sort of stop really. Um, but anyway, I'll, uh, I'll put up a few of those images of the boathouse on Oldswater for you to uh, for you to have a look at as well as. Once again, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscription button and the notification bell to keep up. Keep up with the latest content. Uh, I try and post a video every week as much as I can. Um, also, if you've enjoyed this, give the video a thumb up. That would be much appreciated. And uh, drop a comment down below. Um, so, from the old mill at, in Burradale in the Lake District, until next time, take it easy.